afternoon everyone on this beautiful first day of 2017 for we live in the moment because we don't know what tomorrow brings so just enjoy your present moment as of now and connect with your spirit within so i'm going to start off with a deep breath I now command my spirit to take the thoughts in my mind and drop them into my heart. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When you've been doing this on a daily basis, there's no need for you then to count backwards three times um, because you know how to drop your mind the thoughts of your mind into your heart you can then use the method of three two one and that will also be then your your space that you're operating from will be from your heart i now command my spirit by means of expanding my spirit to crush and collapse all the synthetic timelines, the upside down timelines, the tangent timelines, and the parallel timelines called it to our organic mother earth, organic kingdoms, organic sun, by means of systems, patterns, programs, implants and imprints imposed on us by the dark AI off-planet entity and also the dark AI operating from within Mother Earth, which we shut down as of now. Also the off-planet entities that control human beings or other hybrids passing as a human being to do the channeling for them, to put out false messages and information so that the people follow those channelers. I cut those cords as of now. And also the events from the past, the present and the future that they've tied to the 1st of January, so be it. Also the date, the 1st of January 2017, so be it. Amen. The 1st of February, so be it. The 1st of March, so be it. 1st of April, so be it. 1st of May, so be it. 1st of June, so be it. 1st of July, so be it. 1st of August, so be it. 1st of September, so be it. 1st of October, so be it. 1st of November, so be it. And 1st of December, so be it. You will have no more cording to any of those dates and events, so be it. So I now, as the next Mother Earth in embodiment, and I put it upon your son. I now reclaim him. All those aspects and organic particles back to our organic kingdoms, organic mother earth, sun, and our organic universe. So she is. There are a few beings that I'm going to call out from the fourth dimension, the fourth realm, that will no longer have power over any of our kingdoms here, and I will start off with the cosmic, the imposter, I command my spirit. To remove the imposter, the false cosmic being known as the mighty cosmos that have tied his energies to the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer and also the Earth axis and mm -hmm. then so the North and South Pole. You will mm -hmm. have no more power over any of those tropics and also the axis of Mother Earth. You are removed. I now command my spirit to remove the Ark Con Angel and Alkai Alkai Angel, Raphael and Mary that operates on the fifth ray. So that you will have no more power when anybody calls upon a Raphael or Mother Mary or Mary will have the power to draw from our dark human beings. So be it. 
I now command my spirit to remove the imposter, Ra Mu, which was an ascended master of the Brotherhood of Mount Shasta, and he also claimed to have been the master of the mountain of Mount Shasta. You have no more power over any of the mountains or, or any form of kingdoms. So be it. So. I now command my spirit to remove the impostors, the Elohim of the fourth ray called Purity and Astria, and they operated on the white ray, the color. You have no more power over any of our kingdoms here on this mother earth, so be so. I now command my spirit to remove the impostor, Portia, goddess of justice. She is also known as the goddess of opportunity and also um, serving with the hierarchy of Libra, representing the sixth ray on the karmic board. And she's also known as the consort of the imposter Saint Germain on the seventh ray, the violet ray. You will have no more power over any of our organic kingdoms here. word of advice, this is where you want to follow my advice, but it's a suggestion that you need to tell your spirit as you go within, because that's where your kingdom is, is that you tell your spirit that you have the power to wake up. So you instruct your spirit, wake up. I command my spirit to wake up to the truth and to my connection to Prime Creator the universal creator of true light. So I want you to do that for that is for your own benefit as of now. I also want to just mention to you, so if you've given your power away to any systems here on this Mother Earth, whether it is to be a law-abiding citizen and you find in your heart that what you're doing is not really uh, that you want to go along with, but you are told to go along with it. Speak out, investigate, question more. I want you to know that you will not be able to move up to into a higher dimension if you've given your, your power away in a third dimension and not taken responsibility for your actions and what you say, do, feel and think. So it's very important for you to be able to recognize that power within you and not to give it away to anybody for you will not be able to advance to a higher dimension if you had not passed this grade the third dimension grade like in school so you, for you to be able to move to a higher dimension so take your power back by instructing your spirit that you will take that power back so be it i want to say that Nobody can do this for you. You need to do it all by yourself. Um, so to recognize that aspect as well. You cannot go through a church or pray to a deity or a God outside of you. Because a God is already within you. Spirit is within you. So you don't need to pray to somebody outside of you because you're giving your power away to um, imposter gods that have passed as gods even in scriptures, they that what they portraying for you in the scriptures are half truth. There are some truths within scriptures, but for you to develop your discernment, you need to first to be connected to your heart center to recognize the truth. Um, so that is just also another word of advice today that I want to leave you with for 2017. I now, lastly, want to command my spirit. I command my spirit command. to reintegrate all the higher aspects and organic particles from my previous embodiments, also my um, from uh, different domains, dimensions, frequencies, solar systems, planetary systems, star systems, and universes and galaxies to be reintegrated into my being, to remember my creations, my consciousness and my true love source essence, that spark within your heart connected to the prime creator, the universal creator of true life. So be it. Thank you. Thank you.